Hello everyone and welcome back to Tactics Ogre Night of Lotus. Where well, last time we played we made ourselves well let me go ahead and also oh, I can't change it here, but we made ourselves Lightfire. An Angel Knight. It took us a while, but now we finally have her. And she's also already level 18. So she's gonna be a good hmm. A good asset in this fine, but first things first. I wanna change up Flores' weapon here. I'm gonna give her a rapier. And also the regular tower shield here. Cause I've not been using her as much. Just now level 16, I leveled her up a little bit. And I also leveled up Alphonse here. He's now also level 18. So let's go ahead and give her then the dragon gems uh, sword and should I still give it this one mm. okay for the, the dragon shield does it have any dragon effect I don't think that it does right that one has dragon handling effect and also is there like a mm. a peregrine is a little better I only have one of them? Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, so you know what? Peregrine it is. Uh, like, that should still be kinda nice. We also have Alphonse, who is already really gonna be very good. And I wanna, I wanna see something. If I give it instead the. I don't have any more Seraph's Plume. Where's my Seraph's Plume then? Stormfire has one, and you know what? I don't think she needs it anymore, no. She could have then a second fire drake ring then. Because with the level up that you got, you got now enough to still be at 6 movement. Even without that one. What's the other one though? Oh, Orson. Yeah, Orson sort of his uh, 8 movement. But I still don't use him as much, so... It's... Okay, but not really useful. Mm. No, what I could do though. That's eh, almost. I think if I had like a lighter weapon, it would have been good, but. Fafnir is kinda heavy. It's kinda weird though that I only have like. Uh, these amount of weapons here. I wonder which one does more damage though, Fafnir or Matsukaze? Because. Power speaking, it's Fafnir, but. That's because it is. I guess it, it it is one of the early weapons, so they wouldn't give you something that is extremely powerful. But let's go ahead and then take Lightfire, Alphonse, uh, Liano 2 or not? I'm gonna need Thelma, because she's gonna heal everyone. I will need a Ruzo, because it can do a lot of damage. Might even take Riventina with me, because. It can fly and it's also pretty powerful. And that's already my team now. Hmm. Normally I would have taken like Alos with me. Or Stormfire, I think. But a mage character is gonna be nice. Alphonse is always good. Riventina could be like a bit of a tank. Because they have two archers, the Otto and What's the arch there? Velger? There's a Thunderbow, okay. And Forest Boots, okay. Kafi, it's the first time that I see them with a wizard. Keel? There's the Valkyrie. I don't know why she has the, the boots, the greasy boots. And we have Regolio there and Kerberos. Nowhere here that is completely safe, is there? No, I don't think so. Oh, I thought I was already in the fight there, but no. Treasure means more if it's won. Try and win it. E yes, I will try. I'm also doing a defeat everyone, because that way you can get not the best uh, gear, but the more, most, well, the most amount of gear. Mm, since she only has like a bowgun, she. The range is a bit limited, but 
should be fine still. And also, I'm gonna keep Riventina close to Lightfire because Lightfire does have the dragon handling effect, so that is kind of nice. And can I have more than just just that? No, I can't. So I guess this way is still gonna be fine. And you're going to look upwards, and then Telma and Iruza are gonna just try to get as far as they can, but they shouldn't be able to get that far in. Yeah, there you go. Now the enemy phase. That is very nice. You know what? I just had the thought. I might go ahead and just speed up when we have like a enemy turn, and on my turns I'm not going to speed up. That could, that could be quite good. And that's no chance of hitting there. Okay. What about her? 18-4. Mm, that's really low damage. You know what? That's better than nothing for now. No, my dragon handling. Get back here. There you go. And I might go ahead and attack with Alphonse Otto over here. Because that guy could get annoying, I think. Because he can hit, uh, hit from quite a, quite a long range away. And. Thelma, you should be able to heal. Ah, uh, but they're too far away. Mm, you know what, then he'll... Oh! Oh no, he got it! Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I forgot about that part. But you know what, that's fine. It's not as fine as though, because then I can't use heal plus as much. Nightmare, oh no. Please don't sleep. <sighs> Why? This is Alphonse. This is Alphonse. No, they won't tell me. Why did Alphonse go to bed? Oh, you could hit Alphonse. Yes! That is very nice. What HP do you have though at the moment? 180. Which is... Not as good. Wait. Ooh. I don't think these guys got hit, right? No. How much would that heal me for? 106. 93. Yeah, you know what? I'll just use a regular heal for now. And then we'll use the bigger heal afterwards. And here, Alphonse is gonna go ahead and attack this one. Come on, hit him! Yes! One down. Mm, and you are going to go ahead and try to attack that guy over there. Mm, point melody. Like zero zero. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Bowgun. Yeah, that's that's fine damage. It's like it's not the best kind of damage, but it's okay damage for now. 
and you thunder breath these two. Okay, there you go. My dog's being crazy again. But... If I get a stun, that would be really good. No stun though, okay. Uh, it's fine. Uh, and now a crack crush for the damage. And we could... I'm more um, optimistic on winning this one, I think. Ah, uh, Mesmerize, right? Yeah. I think Thelma might be dead as well though. Ah, wait, no, she does have... Oh, and he woke up too. Very nice. Uh, let's see, can you go behind? No, you cannot. Why are you so slow now? Uh, well, I guess it's fine for now. Uh, in Fury. I don't think that would hit though. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go to this place, uh, mm, with that hit though, yes it will, okay good, okay, you know what, I might even move him over here a little bit, like 50 damage or 47, and how much would what do you do to you? 42. Yeah, but then you know what? I think I want to get rid of the Kerberos first. It's also kind of kind of annoying. It's like if I try to heal myself with uh, heal plus, it's not as useful because then they can also hit me with all their multi attack stuff. Mm. You can go ahead and heal yourself then. They shouldn't be able to attack then though Eruza and Dalma together because... How do I say this? Uh, you can't attack that panel. Uh, oh, Rigoli okay, could do it though, I think. Uh, 34! Yeah, nice, it hit as well. Mm, that should work then, and you for the other one then. 90 damage. 91 even. Nice. The wizard should be dead then next turn. Uh, you're gonna attack my wizard? That's fine by me. Ooh. 
Okay. You, my friend Okavi, Kafi, you are half done. Uh, yeah, that should be done. Very nice. Second one of them dead. We still have everyone in our team, which is pretty good. It's uh, not gonna be enough. Shame I don't have uh, Deneb with me here, but you know what? It should still be fine. Especially if I move over here and do. I could also do Nightmare. Hmm? Wait. Yeah, you know what? I might even do Nightmare. Because Nightmare has less damage, but. L very less amount of am animations. There you go. And Telma, you're going to go ahead and heal Alphonse over here because we are going to need Alphonse a lot. So I'd rather not have him die here. Hmm. I'm not attacking this, this guy just simply like that. So what are you guys going to do now? Mm, they're gonna go for Telma, which is fine. She should still have a lot of HP there. And also, we're only at... We're only at... Um, What is it called? <laughs> Turn number five. But uh, we're already so to say one. We're already one like this. Especially considering that those two just really did something bad for them. And that's really high up, so you know what? I might even move over here with light fire. Uh, and we're gonna do just this. Oh wait, no, no, that was a better bad idea. Oh that the crit was nice though, ouch. But yeah, uh, she could <laughs> fight back there. Oh, I could have gotten the bonus there, but you know what, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think I've even won now already. It's like crack crush on the two of them again. It's gonna do another 50 damage, I think. And that would even defeat the sniper here. Mm, maybe not enough damage to defeat the Valkyrie. Because it's still like... 100 HP that she should have. And she might still survive a hit from Alphonse. She doesn't have 100% 100 damage. Right? Or am I mistaken? Boop! Boop! And... 78, yeah. It's still pretty good damage. Considering that everyone else does a lot less. Uh, by keeping Alph Alphonse alive, I think we are keeping the biggest chance of being able to defeat her. Just for one simple reason. No matter where she goes, we can teleport next to her. Wait, did she come to heal herself? No, she's gonna use fire. Yeah, okay. I already thought for a second she was gonna heal herself there. But... Yeah, come down, phone. But there you go. We won! Ah, I can't get give her the kill though. Bit of a shame, life fire, but you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I can give her the kill. Boom! Very nice. Congratulations! Only 20 minutes. Eh, 3,500 gold guff. Ooh, that's a good item. And eh, the other two were fine. But, now we know that I can do these ones, and I can also do them, if it goes well, pretty reliable, I think, as well. If I look at the amount of turns that that, that that took us like around six to seven turns, so pretty good. Because I think, I think like, yeah, there you go. 
12 or even 9 could be doable. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one and I'm gonna show you guys the... I guess the fight in, in speed up version. So then everyone, have fun.
And with that, finally done. <laughs> I cheated. A little, I cheated a little bit, but there you go. Not the best kind of items. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. We've done what I wanted then, and next time we'll go ahead and go to Naja and do the stuff there. But let's see what items did we get then? Uh, Clad Cladia One handed fan Charm effect Protection from charm Okay Let's got the, the flaming axe Which is a nice one And the hammer of tears uh, What else did we get? I think it was one peregrine again And that was about it I think, right? Procs, Peregrine, Hammer of Tears, Cladia. Oh yeah, and then the Volcatus. So now I could give Ariel an ideal one for her as well. And you know what? Emily is fine. If we would use her like this. But for now I think it's fine if we don't use her. And I might try it again uh, a bit later on, but for now it was a bit, well not a bit, but very tied with the, with not the chance, what do you call, uh, with the fight, like it was not as easy as I hoped it was going to be. And also we have one character that uses a fan and that is Eleanor, so Eleanor go ahead and take the, the Cladia then. Gives you less attack? I guess okay, it does give you less attack then. Oh, okay. And we've also got another Yathind fan, I think it was as well, right? Yeah. Hmm. What does that one do? That one doesn't have anything special on it, but being immune to charm, I guess. Should give us a bit of a chance every now and then. Mm. And what else? Hem of Tears could be nice for Durin. It's like instead of the, the Tundra Bow, he would be able to get them, the Hem of Tears here. And also, it's a bit more of a stronger weapon too for him. So that's gonna be nice. And then. Light uh, fire instead of you carrying those two weapons, you'll just have the, the Tundra bow. I think that should also work kind of nicely with you. And we don't have another ring av available for her. Hmm, that's fine, I guess. And also, something that I wanted to do before. Hmm. I guess that this should be fine. Uh, yeah, there you go. And you know what? Might even put it like this. There you go. My two that were resurrected from the dead. Leeches. Who somehow has nothing on it at the moment. Why would you give leeches this thing? It's like. Changes almost nothing. Or well, it gives you a little bit of agility, but really? I'd rather give her a Seraph's plume and you know what? On the chain instead. And plumed headband. Wait, wasn't this what I gave Orson? Almost. Almost the same exact uh, items. Well, it should be fine for now. Uh, yeah, okay, that should be fine. So then everyone, that was it again for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye!